Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trialing out my new Rode wireless microphone. So please bear with me. I'm still getting used to it. I'm used to this big microphone sitting in front of me. But anyway, there is a lot happening in the crypto world. Yes, everyone is hating on Jamie Dimon today, literally uh, because he's trying to destroy crypto in general at a Senate committee. We'll get to that in a moment as well. Ripple and XRP updates. We've got Bitcoin going above 44,000 US dollars, which is insane. Uh, it's currently sitting at around about $68,200 today, Australian, which is wild. Kathy Woods, the final seal of approval for these spot Bitcoin ETFs. We also have some possible dates for those approvals as well. We've got the judge approving the deal between CZ from Binance and the US Justice Department, which is crazy. JP Morgan, yes, we're gonna go through that. He's an absolute clown. Terraformer Labs asking a judge to let a jury decide if UST or Luna are securities. We have BTT as well. This coin has been going up and down like 200%, 100%. It's been absolutely wild. We're gonna have a look at that. Solana-based altcoin, that is Helium token as well, doing nice gains. Shiba Inu as well. You know, shaving off those zeros would be really nice. We've got some updates about that. And Ethereum price predictions as well for the upcoming bull market. I'm going to be going over my three commas day trading bots with OKX. Both are official partners of the channel as well. Pretty crazy times are in. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get into it, Bulls. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are getting freaking wild in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that, all right? So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything, it's down there. Thank you very much, you guys absolutely rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right, formalities are out of the way. Yes, it's pretty weird not having a microphone, but I'm just trialing it out. Now, this morning we had top old coins in the portfolio. And if you haven't joined the Patreon yet, the link is below community is growing every single day. My full altcoin list goes up every single morning, literally the whole list. So go check it out. Link is below balls. Amp was up today. We had Constellation DAG, Holochain, Win, and XYO making some nice gains as well. Yes, there was no video yesterday because I was at Foo Fighters in Melbourne, which was an awesome show. Absolutely crazy. Now, bull market confirmed. Yes, this was yesterday. I mean, we're crossing all kinds of RSIs right now, and uh, it's literally like clockwork. The bull market is officially back. Even on trading, if you go to the monthly charts, you will see there are buy signals everywhere. The RSI is perfect. Really, really nice. But anyway, let's get into not the price. Let's get into the prices, I should say. Let's go to the total market cap today on Coin Market Cap. That's 1.6 trillion US dollars. We've got 70 billion dollars in volume, which is quite nice. Has been a bit sideways the last 24 hours, but mainly gains in my three commas bots. And 53% uh, Bitcoin dominance and 16.99% Ethereum. Very, very interesting. We've got 27,258 cryptocurrencies. 99% of these are absolutely rubbish. Top old coins this afternoon in the portfolio. And I suggest everyone have a watch list. AMP as well, Ravine, Win Reef is pumping up 13%, which is nice. I'm bullish on Reef. Holochain, Constellation, DAG, and XYO making moves, which is really, really nice. Now, let's go to Crypto Bubbles. Yes, the Wall Street Bull Patreon is linked below. There's like 700 plus members in, in this group. I don't even know why. I think I need to clear the cache on my phone. But anyway, I put up on my buys, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots. My futures grid trading bots are in there. All of the three commas bots that you can literally copy and paste if you wish. And also, more importantly, my dividend investing, which uh, obviously provides cash flow every single month, and that's going to be generational as well. So make sure you join our bulls. I have a chat feature in there as well, where I can speak to everyone at any time, and you can reply to me as well, which is awesome. Join up, you will not regret it. Let's go to Three Commas. Now, again, Three Commas has a new app, by the way, and I will be filming a video on their new Signal bot, 
which I was just trialing out the other day. So essentially you can use your indicators on TradingView with an alert and you link that up to three commas and it will trade for you automatically, which is really, really cool guys. So if we go to trading, this is the new app by the way. This is awesome. Literally, it's freaking awesome. Um, you can do this. I prefer using the desktop site, but you can use the application as well. This is the new app, by the way. And uh, again, links are below to this, guys. If you are using those referral links, you will get a discount on your membership with three commas. And uh, I'm using OKX because it allows me to trade with leverage, all right? Now, if I go to my DCA bots, and I'm just going to filter these out at the moment. Here we go. I've currently got one, two, three, four, five, six bots, and they are multi bots. Now, just to make that very clear, that I'm trading all perpetual futures contracts on OKX, literally all of them, apart from, I believe, Bitcoin and Ethereum, because the base order needs to be absolutely huge. And uh, you can see here uh, the return on investment uh, has been absolutely insane. These have made uh, this particular bot alone is 11,000 USD which is absolutely wild. And I am trading with 1.5% profits on uh, 15X leverage on an RSI indicator, as you can see right here. And that's a three minute time frame. So yeah, it's gonna be trading nonstop, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's really bullish, guys. I can't explain to you how crazy this is. I mean, I'm seeing messages from people that have been making uh, more money than they do in their daily jobs in one day. So we're gonna to get to that in a moment, but uh, you can see I'm running a lot of contracts on here. Now I just wanna show you how many contracts are on this one perpetual uh, bot. It's insane. Let's just see if I can alter this. Uh, deals, let's go to events. Uh, let's have a look here, create new. Sorry guys, let me just bring this up here. I'm still getting used to this new app by the way. Let's have a look, bot actions. Let's have a look, edits. All right, so here we go. So you can do basically everything on this new app now, which is awesome. Uh, whereas, you know, again, you can use a desktop. That's what I like to do. But here are all the altcoins that I'm trading on this one bot. So literally all the perpetual swaps on OKX. Now, again, you can't trade with leverage in the United States, Canada, the UK, and some other countries. But in Australia, the only one you can trade with leverage is OKX. And anyway, I've been partners with them. They're incredible. There you go. So let's have a look at OKX. I'm gonna leave the app now. And today I'm up $582, which is insane. Now bearing in mind, I had a setting switched on, which was beast mode on three commas. And I don't recommend anyone actually use that because it stuffed me up completely. But once I switched that off two days ago, I've been seeing nothing but gains. As you can see, the portfolio went from 41 to 42 uh, in one day. Now on the week, I'm still recovering from that massive drop when I had that beast mode feature switched on. I'm still up 1,900 on the month and six, uh, six months of here is $21,155, which is insane. Now let's go to the trade feature where you can see all of the deals. There are currently 349 open orders on OKX and 160 uh, deals taking place or positions. Now, if I was to day trade this, it would be impossible you would need about 20 or 30 screens to trade this alone it would just be impossible so three commas really takes the pressure off with that now coming to the history this is where it's very important we have a quick look at this these are all the profits today there were a couple of liquidations here this does happen it's not all profits sometimes but mainly 95 percent profits today and uh, you can see that they're small amounts which actually add up three USDT, you've got 2.4, 14 USDT, just absolutely wild, okay? So we had a couple of liquidations there, and today is the 7th of December as well. I'd say today it's probably an easy 90% win rate, which is really cool. And again, the market does move, so you have to take some losses as well, but mainly wins, guys. I mean, $500 a day is insane in itself. Think about it. Now, that is all in the Patreon. You can literally see the full instructional videos on how to set these up. Make sure you check it out. And if you want, use the referral links below. And uh, guys, the application is awesome. It really, really is. Now, let's get into crypto bubbles. And uh, you can see BTT is pumping today at 66%. And uh, this coin has been going wild in coin market cap. But anyway, I do hold BitTorrent. It's been around for a very long time. A lot of people don't like it. It's still in my portfolio. It is up 66 on the day, 80% on the week, and 77% on the month, which is absolutely wild. Helium token, 42% today, 92% on the week, and 213% on the month. 
is absolutely wild. Now, I'm wondering, does anyone actually have these helium miners still? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious about that. Uh, let's have a look at some other gems, some good buying opportunities. Where are they? Let's have a look at Quant, currently at 111, 1.4% today, 13 on the week. This is still flying under the radar. I remember this uh, when it was 400 Australian dollars. And uh, it's currently sitting at around about, what, about 180 Australian dollars at the moment. So I'm still bullish on that. I got in uh, at Quant uh, at 60 US dollars. So that's where my entry point was. Let's have a look at Solana at 0.6%, which is nice. Still, I think Raul Powell's got this one nailed. And Visa wouldn't have partnered up with Solana if they didn't think it was going to be the future of payment rails as well. Solana is utility coin. So uh, Visa would not have partnered with them if that weren't the case. And of course, XRP right here, 4.5% on the day, 67 on the week, and it's still up 666 .6 on the year. Triple six, guys, there you go. Anyway, moving on, we have some updates about Ripple and XRP, of course. That is an absolute given on my channel. Let me just refresh this. I'm not sure why this website is not loading. Very, very annoying. Let's just wait for this. Nope, it's having funny games right here. Anyway, let's move on to this, guys. The derivatives market. Now, again, the ISDA partnership is just one small act aspect of XRP. Again, you know, I honestly believe this thing could go parabolic. I mean, $1.2 quadrillion. I mean, this is what we're talking about here. And not only that, we're talking about the entire bridge currency for the entire planet for SWIFT and transactions. But... Just going back over this old article, I know it's irrelevant, but there are new people coming into this space, but Ripple, a crypto payment solution, announced its membership with the International Swaps Derivatives Association, that is the ISDA, and the strategic move came as a pleasant surprise to XRP community members as it's positioned XRP to fully partake in the massive 1.2 quadrillion derivatives market. Absolutely bullish, ladies and gentlemen. And this article, here we go. Now, the world bridge currency. Will XRP be used as a bridge currency? Now, XRP has been considered by some as a potential bridge currency due to its fast transaction speeds and low fees. Ripple develops global financial products like XRP Ledger and RippleNet, which are designed to streamline intra-bank transactions, which could help XRP become a global bridge currency. And uh, the key takeaway is basically a bridge currency acts as a go-between uh, go between for currencies and financial systems, smoothing transactions which direct exchanges between currencies aren't feasible. Ripple via the XRP crypto is aiming to harness the blockchain for financial solutions, specifically focusing on bridging financial institutions, currencies and systems. It's enormous. Leveraging ISO 222. And by the way, I need to find out what's going on with ISO 222. It's been a while. Standards helps it provide a common language for financial data exchange. XRP's potential as a bridge currency within the RippleNet lies in its ability to facilitate faster and more efficient cross-border transactions between various fiat currencies, although not all transactions on RippleNet involve XRP. Very, very interesting. Moving on, guys, let's have a look. Yes, Bitcoin making financial uh, news right here, but uh, jumping above 44,000 US dollars. That is nothing compared to what's coming now. Absolutely insane. But Bitcoin's longest winning run since May lifted the token past 44,000 US dollars, raising questions about whether the breakout increasingly reflects conviction or the loser US Federal Reserve monetary policy. And I think it's the Federal Reserve monetary policy is the world's largest economy ahead. There's a lot going on in the United States and uh, around the world with a lot of economic issues. Yeah, I was just having some water, but, um, you know, this is nothing compared to what's coming and how much money is going to be piling in. Don't even listen to that fool, Jamie Dimon. Now, Kathy Woods, incredible woman in this investing space. And uh, Spot Bitcoin ETF would be the final seal of approval for institutions. And it's just going to allow institutions to pour in capital. This is what people need to understand. The approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF by the Securities Exchange Commission could serve as the final seal of approval for institutions considering involvement in the crypto space, according to ARK CEO Kathy Wood. ARK Invest, in partnership with 21 Shares, has a live filing in front of the agency for such product. And the deadline for the SEC to rule on the proposed ARK 21 Shares Bitcoin ETF is January 10th. So we could see these ETFs approved by January, which is going to be very, very nice. Moving down, 
And uh, I don't know why my phone is playing up right now. I do apologize about that. We have CZ now, obviously, moving forward with his case with the uh, US Justice Department, which is an absolute nightmare. And I think it was just, you know, all planned to take down Binance, but it didn't work. And Binance is just too big to fail anyway. But the US District Judge accepted the plea deals agreed upon by Binance former CEO CZ and the Department of Justice. And Binance, which operates Binance.com, the world's largest crypto exchange, pleaded guilty and dismissed the Justice Department investigation into violations related to Bank Secrecy Act, failure to register a money transmitter and violations of International Emergency Economic Powers Act, agreed to pay over $4 billion to resolve the issue, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Now, Jamie Dimon. Come on, man. Like, he's the biggest hypocrite on the freaking planet. I mentioned this on X, but even his bank moves into blockchain space. Jamie Dimon tells senators that the government should shut down the whole industry. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon, the crypto industry would be closed down, he told the US senators during the Financial Service Committee's annual banking oversight hearing. And the CEOs from the world's top banks, including Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, BNY Mellon, among others, joined Diamond on Wednesday to answer lawmakers' questions about how effectively the banking industry is serving Americans. And Elizabeth Warren, a vocal critic of the banking industry, found a rare moment in the agreement with Diamond when she shifted the topic of conversation from Basel III uh, the international agreement spurred by the 2008 financial crisis to cryptocurrencies. And today's terrorists have a new way to get around the Bank Secrecy Act, cryptocurrency. And Warren said during her allocated five minutes last year, an estimated $20 billion in illicit crypto transactions funded every kind of dangerous criminal activity. North Korea has funded the last half of its massive missile program, including nuclear weapons, including proceeds of crypto crime. These people are freaking nuts. Absolutely crazy. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we have Terraformer Labs uh, obviously asking, uh, you know, a jury to decide whether or not UST or Luna tokens are securities. Now, it wouldn't have been amazing for the XRP army for a jury to decide this. Seriously, it would have saved years. Anyway, BTT's price is surging. And I do hold this one again, but uh, one of the favorites in the last bull season, double today, what's the secret to the surge right here? BTT, the product of file sharing platform BitTorrent, which is acquired by Tron in 2018, witnessed its price more than doubling today. And uh, the increase in price comes amid the growing optimism about the Tron blockchain, despite there being no obvious news catalyst for the price increase. And the price started to rise with the announcement made by Justin Sun that the number of users on the Tron blockchain exceeded 200 million people. That is not only a major milestone, but also a testament to our growing ecosystem, Justin Sun said. Now, again, I use Tron to send my USDT. Why? Because the fees are cheap as well. Now, I'm not going to get into the Helium token um, news article, so I don't think it's really relevant, but uh, it is pumping today. And I'm curious to know if anyone's actually still using those Helium mining to uh, devices. I have spoken about it before. I'm not sure if they're actually any, you know, feasible. You can't even access them anymore. But Shiba Inu bulls keen on a 0.001 Shiba price and a breakout on transactions on the Shibarium blow up heavily. And amid the current market rally, Shiba Inu has emerged as a standout performer, showcasing a remarkable surge of 21.45% within a week, which is absolutely insane. And I still hold my Shiba Inu as well. Now, there is a price prediction coming out for Ethereum, targeting $3,400 US dollars, which is just wild. That's nearly 5000 or 4800 Australian dollars. And Ethereum's price trajectory is headed towards the Fibonacci levels between the $2,400 and $2,600, indicating a critical phase in valuation. And Ethereum's performance is not as strong as Bitcoin's, but if it begins to outperform, Ethereum price could potentially climb much higher. So many freaking pop-ups on these websites. It's ridiculous. Now, moving on, let's get down to CryptoMeter.io. Let's have a look and see where the money's been going. We've got money going into Ethereum, Dogecoin, XRP, Luna Classic, AVAX. We have uh, Ethereum Classic and Luna. I'm still holding on to my Luna. Let's have a look at X and then we'll end up at this. And yes, I'm at the Wall Street bull. I was now bulls. There are fake accounts going on. 
It's just ridiculous. Please, if you're not following the Wall Street Bull Oz, it is not me. I would never message anybody on X or on Instagram, so please be careful. There are literally verified accounts on X, which is just insane uh, that they actually allow this. And uh, it, it's just basically copying everything that I'm uh, doing, which is nuts. But anyway, follow the Wall Street Bull Oz. That is me, 5,800 followers. Thank you very much to all of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, this is my new Bitcoin scullering that just got sent off to a client today. Very, very bullish. And if you look closely, I managed to get all of the details in there. You can grab these still on my website, my jewelry website. Go and have a look. Use the discount code BF40. Now, we may never see this type of dominance in the financial markets ever again. Bitcoin is just continuing to go up in value. And these institutions, and I should say, and I don't want to be rude, but these old, old institutional managers of these funds and banks and institutions need to go. All right. This is the new world. Everyone needs to go. That is in the old world. Never got much uh, margin call right here. That is Michael Saylor sitting on around about $2 billion in gains at the moment, which is absolutely insane. There are 30 days away before the approval window opens for the first Bitcoin spot ETF as well. So that's only one month. Moving down, we have a, a senator, I believe, here just talking about Bitcoin and crypto. Have a listen to this. Broken financial architecture, and you oppose efforts to regulate it. The head of the largest international crypto exchange just pleaded guilty to allowing his platform to launder money for terrorists, including Hamas. <laughs> you say your cryptocurrency plan will, quote, ensure economic freedom for Americans, end quote. Won't it also ensure economic freedom for fraudsters, criminals and terrorists? Look, fraudsters, criminals and terrorists have been defrauding people for a long time. Our regulations need to catch up with the current moment. The fact that SBF was able to do what he did at FTX shows that whatever they have as the current framework isn't working. And I think it is nothing short of embarrassing that Gary Gensler, the current leader of the SEC, in front of Congress could not even say whether Ethereum counted as a regulated security or not. And so I think that this is just another example of the administrative state gone too far. Here's the dirty little secret in American politics today. The people who we elect to run the government are not the ones who are even actually running the government. It is the bureaucrats in those three-letter agencies. He's got a very valid point there. Now listen to everyone's favorite, Jamie Dimon. We did have the only true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, and that is a use case uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have been built up over many years know your customers, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down. Okay. I've always been. You can't close it down, Jamie. That's why Satoshi Nakamoto made it. It is decentralized. Gosh, and the amount of stuff that he's done, I mean, look at this. They paid a fine of $228 million in 2011 for uh, securities violations which is insane. They basically fraudulently rigging at least 93 um, municipal bond reinvestment transactions in 31 states in the United States, generating millions of dollars. Come on, man, you're a big hypocrite. Anyway, Lugano, Switzerland embraces Bitcoin for payments and taxes fees via the Swiss financial services provider, Bitcoin Swiss. Very, very nice. Yes, there are fake accounts. This is the fake account. Please don't go follow this absolute idiot. Moving on again, meme coin Shiba Inu just erased a zero with a 15% pump, bullish. And uh, we've got Pando, a Swiss asset manager, filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF as well. Now, Crypto Rover is putting out the goods today. Bitcoin is performing exactly like it did in the 2020 bull market, as you can see right here. It's doing the same thing. And this is targeting up well and truly $100,000 Bitcoin right here. That is bullish as anything. Now we've got traders placing significant bets on Bitcoin reaching 50,000 by January. That's US dollars, which is nice as well. Crypto is for criminals. JP Morgan has been fined $38 billion of its own token right here. And again, they had JPM coin. CZ from Binance putting out the goods as well. HODL is tough for most people. In bull markets, you are tempted to take profit in bear markets, panic sell. It's true. HODL becomes easy after crypto becomes your default world view. It is the truth. 100%. I agree with that. Yes, that is a fake account, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move down here, guys. I don't know what's going on with my uh, X account at the moment. Bitcoin 44K 
44K today. Yes, and again, Bitcoin up 16% in a week. My boss, why are you late? Me, watch your mouth. That is the truth right there. Now, moving on, we've got the Fear and Greed Index sitting at 72 as well. And Chase Bank in the United States is also blocking all crypto payments. Pretty much what Westpac did to me. Absolutely insane. Moving on, let's go to coin market cap. And yes, my banking coin list is the ultimate list in my opinion. Utility is king in my opinion. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Solana. We have Cardano, AVAX, Chainlink, XLM, Hedera, Quant, Algo, XDC. All of these gems are utility coins. And yes, coin market cap's putting ads here. Why? Anyway, that is it, Bulls. Thank you very much. Join the Patreon. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. And again, these bots are doing incredible things with three commas and OKX. And I will put up a video uh, for my monthly video on how to set up a signal bot as well. Stick around for that. It's going to be very bullish. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good afternoon, and a good morning. And if it's morning, have an espresso. Peace out, guys. Bye.